Hello drone video fans, this is another video in my series of videos on the covered bridges of Ashtabula County and uh, today we have the Benetka Road covered bridge uh, located in Ashtabula County. It was built around uh, 1900, Not nobody's sure of the exact date and it even lists that on the plaque inside which you'll be seeing uh, a little later on in the uh, video. This bridge is uh, 138 feet long in total length and it spans a section of the uh, Ashtabula uh, River. It was uh, renovated in 1985 when they added um, a couple of archways which you'll be seeing a little bit later in the video. They're 9 inches wide by 38 inches thick and they add a tremendous amount of support to this bridge which is not doesn't have any center support. Um, doing a, a, a little climb here as you can see the the uh, maximum allowable vehicle height is only uh, 10 feet 9 inches uh, and I was going to fly down the uh, length of the roof here to uh, look at the uh, the roof of this bridge and as I got close to the uh, to the far edge I noticed that there was uh, quite a few uh, leaves on the very top of the of the uh, bridge which meant that that tree that's on the right hand side was probably closer than what it looked so uh, I decided to uh, turn around and, and head back to the ranch I didn't want to press my luck um, as I turned around um, what comes into view about a half mile distance from this bridge is a huge cell tower that had about 40 or 50 antennas on it and when I passed it on my way to this bridge I was thinking I hope it's safe to fly here and uh, at one point I did lose uh, a pretty you know a lot quite a few of my GPS uh, uh, signal but uh, we were able to get the shoot in uh, anyway so we're uh, dropping down here and uh, gonna move uh, over to the west side of the bridge uh, downstream and um, I didn't have to get this close to these trees over here. Probably uh, could have turned it a lot closer, but um, we paying, uh, wasn't paying that much attention. I was more focusing on the uh, on the uh, shot. Uh, this is the first time I'm using some uh, neutral density filters on the lens of my camera, and it gave me something else to uh, consider with. Uh, adjusting the uh, exposure rates and so on and so forth so uh, if at points and during this shoot the uh, video is a little bit uh, underexposed or overexposed it's probably because I'm not used to using these uh, filters at any rate this is the uh, the western face of the bridge you can see the cutouts for the uh, uh, windows I guess you could call them uh, which allow for ventilation and uh, light to uh, penetrate the bridge and uh, uh, now I'm kind of like backing off giving a, a little bit better view but it's a, a very uh, a nice bridge now not a whole lot of traffic uh, I think the whole time I was there there was maybe only uh, three or four cars that uh, that went by so it's a, a very nice nice one to, to uh, come and visit now we're turning to the west and uh, we're looking at the uh, western view of, of the Ashtabula River and uh, it's not very deep uh, at least at this point uh, in this season I would estimate it being less than a foot deep and it's uh, fairly clear you can uh, clearly see the bottom of the of the um, uh, river as I fly over it. As a matter of fact, you even see some ripple effects from the uh, prop wash of the drone as it flies over. Um, didn't want to fly too far down, but uh, did want to give you a little bit of a look of the uh, d downstream uh, view uh, of this um, area. And as I said, I, you know, it's it's not very uh, deep. I didn't see any fish uh, either from the uh, camera shots or. Uh, when I was walking along the side of the of the river itself and looking inside I was looking for you know some small fish like crappie or you know some kind of ba small bass but didn't see uh, anything of the nature in there uh, now we've turned back 
to the east and since this is morning we're kind of looking directly into the sunlight uh, again I'm <clears throat> just experimenting with a filter on the uh, camera lens and uh, uh, there's also full control of the exposure rates from the transmitter and uh, you know when you're trying to fly and adjust exposure rates and settings like that all at the same time it gets to be a, a little much so uh, I'm still learning, uh, but uh, we're going to get uh, up the side of this uh, little rise. Uh, and as the drone is flying up it, I'm sort of uh, walking up along behind uh, along the road just to uh, get a better uh, picture of um, the um, run through the center of the bridge. As uh, I turn here, you'll be able to see a little bit of the uh, east side and the east portion of the Ashtabula River. Now we uh, get uh, lined up here to go through the bridge and on the left side on the top there's a placard of uh, all the information of on this bridge and I stop for a moment and turn and, and face the placard so that you can read it and uh, if you want to pause and stop your video at this point and, and read what's there that'd be fine and then you can continue on after you uh, have read what's on the on the placard there but it gives a lot of the information that I that I already listed. Um, so I think I, that that was, uh, you know, from the last time I told you to stop, uh, that was a good idea that was uh, to, to focus on it. Here you can see the, um, the two twin arches that were added back in uh, 1985. Um, and uh, again, this, this bridge, uh, even though it's uh, 138 feet long, there's no center support. So those, those two arches, uh, uh, along with the beams on the side, they uh, do the entire support work for this bridge. Uh, lots of uh, natural light coming in through those uh, uh, windows uh, with the lattice work uh, of uh, timbers uh, running you know, crosswise um, across the windows. And uh, as we here again, you can see that I'm I'm playing with the exposure level of the uh, camera trying to figure out uh, how to do it and you know a lot of guys that do this professionally they have um, dro uh, drones that have uh, two uh, controllers a guy flying and a guy adjusting the camera and I think that would be a whole lot easier because it's uh, it's almost uh, too much for one person to uh, to do both at the same time but uh, that's why they make automated controls <laughs> Uh, I didn't use them on this particular shoot. I was just, you know, experimenting with, uh, with the uh, manual controls, which uh, is really nice on this DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. You have full control of, of your uh, camera, all the exposure, uh, you know, the speeds, the ISO ratings, all that stuff. Now we're going to fly um, up uh, on the uh, eastern side. Uh, this is the eastern portion of uh, the. Um, Ashtabula River and uh, kind of looking from the east side here at the uh, eastern face of the of the bridge and just uh, as on uh, a couple of other bridges that I've shot it seems that on the eastern face the face of the bridge that faces um, the early morning sun gets uh, bleached out a lot more and seems to be the wood seems to be more distressed Although in this case the the wood, even though it's bleached and and distressed, it's um, you know the the wood itself seems sound. And after getting a good look at the uh, bridge, I turn back uh, to the east here and uh, into the uh, morning sun. And uh, I, at this point, I think I'm a little bit uh, overexposed, and uh, but I did see a, a part of the river. Uh, up river here that looked interesting because it looked uh, particularly shallow and the water running over some rocks uh, and again uh, if you look at the surface of the uh, river you'll see that uh, occasionally there will be ripples in there caused by the the stream uh, uh, of the, or I'm sorry by the slip slipstream of the of the props of my uh, drone and um, so we're going to get up, get up here closer and uh, uh, once I get you know close to this uh, shallow spot where the where the uh, water is running over these rocks, I um, play a little bit with the uh, with the exposure setting on the 
on the uh, camera. Here, it's I'm feeling that it's overexposed. So I, there's a wheel on the on the transmitter that allows you to set your exposure value. So I I kind of dialed it back, uh, perhaps a little bit too much at first, and then uh, backed it off a little bit to uh, uh, to get something a little bit more usable. Uh, and you know it's it's pretty sensitive, but uh, and I think I'll get better at that once I get uh, to using it a little bit more. A lot of these features I've never, never really tried uh, myself. But uh, this is this is a, a pretty good exposure rate right here, and uh, I think this is a, a pretty nice uh, view of the of the bridge itself uh, from the east side, and gives you a, a real nice clear view of the of the entire span of the of the bridge. And uh, as we fly towards it, we're going to gain a little bit of uh, altitude and, and go back over the, the top of the bridge. Again, you can see the, uh, the uh, window cutouts on the top, up by the roof and along the side, which allow for air circulation and uh, light to uh, come into the bridge. And once we get up over the top of the roof, you can see the west side again of the, of the river. Uh, going downstream and we're going to turn back now towards the north and uh, as we get going along this direction it seemed like every time I went in this direction I started losing uh, uh, satellite uh, GPS satellites and again I think it has something to do with that huge uh, cell tower that's in the distance but um, I guess that's one of the things you just have to put up but I, you know, this is really a, a nice bridge to come and visit because, it, as you can see, there was uh, it's very scenic and and very little traffic, and uh, you could you could spend a lot of time. You can even uh, try and your luck for fishing, but I, I doubt that you'll do too much. Um, one thing I'm gonna I did see while I was walking along the side here was there was a couple of markers down along the shoreline. Apparently, there was a tragic accident where a couple of young boys, 12, 14 years uh, old. Uh, were drowned in, in the river. Now I'm looking back at that uh, cell tower again in the distance. But uh, as I swing back here to the uh, left, uh, you'll see a couple of crosses uh, uh, down along the, uh, the shoreline. Um, apparently a couple of young boys uh, lost their lives in this uh, river and uh, they're marked with a couple of crosses. Um, I think that happened back in the uh, 1990s or early 2000s. Anyways, this is a nice um, uh, peaceful area, uh, enjoyable. If you have time to uh, check out these covered bridges, uh, make this one a, a stopping point on your uh, trip because it's uh, it's easily uh, uh, you know you can drive to it pretty easily and it's uh, it's an enjoyable uh, stay. Bring some uh, bug spray though because there's lots of mosquitoes. Enjoy the film. Thanks for watching.